hang on to your hats. Coming up next on At the Public Library, it's Book Talk with the Book Boys, John Demerit and Dominic Riley. Your show! You're the greatest bookmakers I've ever been associated with. That'd be fourteen dollars. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. I love your show. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Fourteen dollars. Yeah, okay. See you. Hi, it's Book Talk. Hi, Dominic. Hi, John. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. What do you want to do today? Um. Uh, Got any big ideas? No. Mm, small ideas. Well, I'll tell you what. You see that trash can over there? Uh-huh. That's small. Yeah. And uh, you see that San Francisco Public Library bookmobile over there? Yeah. Well, that's big. Uh-huh. You following me? No. Well, you see this building behind us, the San Francisco Public Library? Yeah. Oh, that's where we do our show. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's small. Yeah. Now, you see this building next door, the brand new San Francisco Public Library? Oh, that's where we're going to do our show next year. Yeah. Well, if Pete Wilson's still in office, yeah. yes, that's where we Oh. That's big! I got an idea! I got an idea! Ah, 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 ah. What, what is it, Timmy? Is Timmy in trouble? No, let's go look for big books, small books! All right, let's go! Hey, oh wait, where are they? Well, I don't know. But I'll wager that tower contains more than air. Let's go. Rock your show! Oh, thanks! Large books, little books, old books, new books, fresh books, brittle books, black books, blue books, heavy books, light books, good books, bad books, dark books, bright books, funny books, mad books, white books, green books, short books, tall books, dirty books, clean books, big books, small books. Book Talk with John and Dominic. This week, big books, little books. But before we look at books, let's have some viewer mail. Dominic has a letter. Shall we read it, Dominic? Yes. This letter is from little Sam Bowl, aged eight, of Berkeley. And he says, Dear Book Talk, who was the first bookbinder? Hello, Sam. The first bookbinder was possibly an ancient Greek called Philatius. According to legend, Philatius was a learned Athenian, that somebody from Athens, which is now sadly very badly polluted. Very bad. And he was the first person who pointed out the use of a particular glue for fastening the leaves of books together. The Athenians were so taken with this invention that they erected a statue to Philatius in downtown Athens, just near the McDonald's. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. And now John has a letter. I have a letter from our friend and colleague, and it says, Dear John and Dominic, I watch Book Talk every time it's on, and I think it's the best thing on TV. <laughs> but why do you never have any fruit on your show? Yours truly, Molly West. Well, Molly, we're not actually allowed to bring foodstuffs into the library, but we did bring a nice tapered auger for you. Oh, thanks, thanks Molly. Molly. And now let's look at some big books and some small, small books. books. Hello, this is the uh, Gould's Book of Birds of Europe from 1837. It's very, very big. It's also very heavy. Should we try yeah. and put it down? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Help me, help me, help me. Oh, oh here we are. Here we Here's are. just one picture of one of these. It's a doubtful sparrow. What kind of bird is that, John? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. But let's have another yeah. book. Right. Beautiful prints of, and I, I suppose the main reason that they made books this big was so that they could make life-size prints of, of these wonderful birds. You see yeah. a lot of floral, of floral books like this, too. Very common Victorian books. 
when we all became so interested in the world outside of our Nature, village. Nature, man, and his environment. Yeah. yeah. We all started reading Rousseau. Yeah. So this is a folio book. What does that mean? Folio book means one sheet. It's the size of one sheet of paper folded in half. So it would have been printed on a piece of paper twice this size. Which is probably like a like, 22 by 30 sheet. OK. And then were these printed, or were these printed and then hand colored? Uh, they look hand colored to me, although I, I wouldn't venture to guess. We should call Alistair Johnson because yeah. he'll we're yell not, at us if we don't say the right thing. We're not, we're not experts. Nah. Blank pages here because they only print on one side of the page. Yeah. And so let's have a look at the title page, which is mm -hmm. very nice. Look at that. It's very clean. The Birds of Europe by John Gould. Yeah. And the, this book has a fabulous, what? Leather binding. Leather tooled binding. With this, this is one roll that makes this decorative uh -huh. line all the way around with gold leaf. Now, this book's been repaired. It's been rebacked. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Here. There's a line just here where this book has been A new piece of leather yeah. has been inserted there. It's not surprising that a book like this would need to be rebacked. Oh, no, a lot of, lot of wear and tear on this joint area. This joint. Also, yeah. the end paper you see, it's a very complicated form of end paper, mm -hmm. but this one also has been repaired. This is a new piece of the new cloth, uh, cloth that would not have been there originally. Yeah. And also, this is a, a, um, a Victorian coated paper, paper for the end paper, which you can't get anymore. Yeah. And the end sheets to all these lo it's particularly large Victorian books were always very complicated and very strong. Mm. And usually, the first folio would be uh, oversewn or overcast. I think so, correct. yeah. But there it is. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Let's put it away. And oh, <laughs> ah, that's our first big book. Yeah. Oh, Dominic, I can't do it. Yes, I can. Good. Next book is a little book. I'm going to give it to John, and he's going You've to tell us. You've brought it from home, haven't you? Yes. And John's yes. going to tell us about it. John. Oh, this is a lovely book. It's a book uh, printed in 1714. It's a Spanish book of indulgences. Can you no. tell us what's an indulgence, well, Dominic? Well, in the Catholic Church, if you yes. commit a sin, you go to the priest, and you have an indulgence. You sort of say a little prayer. Prayer, a penitent. Yeah, yeah, and you pay a little bit of money. A little money. And um, well, you get, a lot you of get money years knocked off in purgatory, you see. Years. Yeah, it's like paying a parking ticket, but you can right. do it. You can, you can, they can mount up. You know, when it. I grew up in Colorado, there was a ski area called Purgatory. Is that where you go? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. This little book. It's a lovely little bound in the limp vellum style. Mm hmm Soft covers. And it has these little clasps. Uh, yeah. A little cord here held mm -hmm. on this lovely little bead. Yeah. And the reason this book is so, so small, small, of course, is because it's a pocket prayer book. It's a prayer book meant to be holding your hands. Yeah, and you can, if you're a monk or a nun or just any yeah. kind of like, you know, religious fanatic of any kind, yeah. put it into your little pocket and uh, you can whip it out at, at yeah. quiet moments in the cloister and have a little yeah. look at it. Now, know. if you go to Mass every day, it would be hard to haul a book like as big as Gould's Book of Birds. You wouldn't want Gould's Book of Birds. And besides, you can't get years knocked off of purgatory for looking at books. No, you of, can't. Of, it birds. doesn't tell you the right things to say. No. But this is quite gorgeous. There's, there's a, something of a title page yeah. here, not like the other one we saw. This is the early days of title pages. But it does have this lovely initial letter printing mm -hmm. here. It's beautiful. Um, it's quite nice. It opens yeah. quite nicely. And the vellum's in amazingly good shape, yeah. considering, considering how old it yeah. is. And it has this little, tiny little headband. headband, which has been sewn here with the sewing thread. Yeah. All in all, it's a gorgeous little handy pocket-sized book for churchgoers everywhere. Thank you. Do you want to take that back home? I certainly will. I must say how much I've always admired your bust, John. Well, thank you. Mr. 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 Hand, please, the next book, please. Oh, oh dear. Oh, here it comes. Yes, yes. Good, at long last. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Mr. Hand. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Hand. Oh, now. Yeah, what do we have here? This book looks uh, a little bit like a barrel. In fact, it's yes. a good job we bought our tapered auger earlier. Yeah. Uh, we might have to plug this thing later. Uh, there what it is. What book do we have here, well, Dominic? It says Gutenberg uh, Jubilfeier. But it's a scrapbook of things I related to. I believe it was to... from the Gutenberg Jubilee. Absolutely, but look at this thing. Yeah. It's this the... is basically a, a scrapbook or a photo album for. Uh, a amalgam of ephemera that was printed for the 500-year uh, Gutenberg Jubilee. Yeah. The nice thing about this book, it's so thick, of course. Yeah. Uh, these things are mounted onto card, each one of these yeah. little keepsakes. They're and very it, stiff. And it has these 
You can see them here. It has these uh, yeah. hinges here, these cloth reinforced uh, yeah. hinges, which allow the book, yeah. the pages of the book, to hinge beautifully. They're called guards. Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. And in fact, yeah. look, the little book we just saw can come right through. Right through. Oh, isn't that cute? Because the hollow's so yeah. big. You could have a puppet show with this book. You could. You could do it. You could. You could skateboard inside there. It's so wonderful. Yeah, it's a nice skate ramp. And when it there. opens up, it really does lie beautifully right. flat. And look at the size of that hollow now. I mean, look at that. that you can't beat that kind of generous hollow right. dimensions. Right. Right. You could squeeze oranges in it. I don't know. You could. You could reprint the Gutenberg Bible. Reprint in there. the Gutenberg. And what you know, anything smaller for the 500-year Gutenberg Jubilee would be uh, smaller. I think so. Yeah. 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 It's pretty good. Let's close it up and see what happens. Oh! Now, on the front of this book, you see these bosses, or these brass buttons. Mm. That This book obviously needs a lot of protection because it's so heavy. Yeah, these How are much about, do you think this book weighs? Oh, I don't know, about 30 pounds. Oh, I think more than that. This book has a boss, they're about a quarter of an inch thick. They're like big buttons, yeah. and they make sure the book stays up on the surface of mm -hmm. the uh, on the surface of the table. It's absolutely the most incredible thing yeah. we found during the library. our sojourn here. Nice end paper printed. All this is the this best thing they'd let us take out of special collections. Yeah, I'm taking this home for the weekend actually to do a bit of uh, weightlifting practice. And there it is, Mr. Han, and please. Mr. Get Han, Han. Mr. Han, please take this book away, Mr. Han. Yes, thank you, Mr. Han. Oh, <laughs> um, and so we're moving on to the last two books yes, that we have to show. Very important historical documents. Both rather small. Yes. This one, gosh, this is Officium BMV. I presume yes. that means Blessed Virgin Mary. The nicest thing about this little this book. This book is really something else. If you open it up, what? I believe this book was printed at the Plantin Moretus in Antwerp. Oh, it means nothing to me. Yeah, the very nice famous thing, printing office. Look at the size of the pages of this book. It yeah. actually was meant to be that small. It's only about a third of what is actually yeah. done here. All this is waste yeah. from the printed page, which has been bound without being cut. So actually, this book is about this twice. It's probably as meant to be a temporary binding. Yeah, yeah, pa absolutely. Lovely paste paper on here. Yeah, gorgeously made. Yeah, and I believe this label probably came later. I think a so. librarian probably put that on because that label would not have been there. Looks like one that I may have done. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe our friend Dan but, Flanagan did isn't it. Isn't that exquisite, though? It's really a something That's weird. Else. And the paper is just amaz in amazingly good shape for being, what, 400 years old. Absolutely. And what about your little book? Well, I have a little volume of Horace here. Oh, show it to us. Yeah. Printed in Paris. Huh. Uh, can't remember what year it was printed. 18th century, I believe. Yeah. And you need a microscope to read it. Yeah. Or, or close-up lens, which we half, also have. Half leather binding. With nice sort of marbled paper. Yeah, it is a marbled yeah. paper, yeah. But waxed. Nice tooling on the sides. Beautiful. It actually looks yeah. like the huge binding we saw earlier. Yeah, it's but very it's similar to the Goulds. In miniature, it has a lovely gilded edge up here, doesn't uh -huh. it, too? Nice gold leaf on nice the edges of the pages. Yeah. It's That's absolutely really charming. It has a nice... It's a very charming book. Non pari end paper. Right, and once again, it's a it was a it was a common book that you could carry around in your pocket, or if you you know on yeah, the metro. Absolutely. Right. These are all things that you can just you can you can just hide them away anywhere about your person. Right. And nobody will know. Yeah. Come well, what else do you have up your sleeve, Dominic? Oh, a little something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, enough of our tomfoolery. We have one more one book, book that we haven't looked at. The, what one big book? Where is it? I Where's can't remember Mr. where we put Mr. it. Mr. Hand. Where's uh, it? Oh, John. What's Mr. Oh. It's here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was sitting in front of us all the time, we never the realized. Time. This is the most incredible thing. thing this you've is ever a seen. 19th century ledger. Right. This is calfskin. This is called Russia banding. It's, it's a bureau. It's the Bureau of Streets from the Board of Public Works of the City and County of San Francisco. It has basically maps and lists of properties around yes. the city. Every plot of land is marked on here. All written by hand. And if you live in an old house, you can come you down can here. You can look up the history of it. Found out when it was built, and, and etc. Yeah. It's quite a gorgeous thing. This is a classic ledger binding. Again, it has to be this big because it has to have all these huge yeah. uh, scale maps. And it's bound so that you can write all the way to the inner margin. Yeah. It's quite, it has this famous spring You back. may have seen these books before in another of our shows. Yeah, but we didn't talk about them then, did we? They were just furniture. No, they were just props. This is the most incredible thing. And if we close it up. Yeah. I think this one's even heavier than our barrel. It is. It's yeah. the best thing we've ever seen. 
Mm. And I think we're going to try and take it home this with us. an amazing spring back. S sneak it past the uh, yeah. people at the front desk. I'll create a distraction. And it has lots of dust as well. And it's amazing, it has a Star of David tooled onto the front yeah, of it. you can see that. Yeah, that's great too. God knows why. Ah. Oh, there it is. Right. Well, that just about wraps that's up it. our little foray into the world of big books and small books well, today, doesn't it, John? But It um, certainly does. I think it's time for a word from our sponsors, don't you? Yeah. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Okay. Book binding's a sedentary craft. That's why you need to stay in shape. Ever had trouble lifting those big family Bibles? Coming home from work dog-tired and uninspired? Well, if that's so, it's time you said hello to Divido Gym! Divido Gym, brought to you by the dedicated staff at R&D Enterprises, purveyors of the finest in bookbinding exercise equipment. The Divido Gym tones, shapes, and transfers precise measurements simultaneously, all in the comfort of your own bindery. The Divido Gym. Isn't it time you measured up? Available only from Riley Demerit Enterprises. Price $99.99. Not all colors are available. The opinions expressed in the preceding program are those of the guest speakers and in no way reflect the opinions of the San Francisco Public Library or CityWatch Cable 54.